Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to let you know that I have been not making videos and probably won't be for several days. I don't know. I'm having issues with my heart again. And I was in the ER last night. And instead of keeping me, they sent me home. It was so busy in there. They were on divert, didn't want. <laughs> they didn't want the ambulance to bring me there, but they did. But because I was a heart condition and not COVID, I was taken right back. <laughs> so praise the Lord for that. Well, before they, you know, it took them so long to get IV in me that I didn't even get that medicine that stops your heart, you know, and lets it start back up again. And they had those paddles, pads on me ready to shock me if it didn't start up. And I was like, oh, Lord Jesus. I was just laying there praying. I'd been praying all day. Lord, just please let my heart rate come down and stay down. Because <laughs> it would go up and be up in the 150s, sometimes 160s. And then it would come on down. 77, 82. It'd be all right. Well, it's doing it again today. It's in the 150s and 60s. So I'm like, Lord, I'll let my cardiologist know because I have to have a follow-up appointment. But I'm not going back. So I'm in your hands. And so I'm just letting you all know what's going on. And I'm asking you for your prayers. Keep me in your prayers for this specifically against or praying against stroke. Satan cannot have me. Okay, I <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go out of here as, as a bride of Christ in a glorified body. <laughs> That's what I want. Okay, so um, I'll be praying for you all. But um, I just, I have to back off and it's stress. I know it is. Overdoing it. I'm pushing myself to do more than I should be doing. You know, uh. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. So, I love each and every one of you. And I, I so, I treasure your prayers. Because I know they've helped in the past. So, just keep praying for me, okay? And I will contact my cardiologist. I'll be smart about it. But I do know God is the great physician. And He is in control. And I want to tell you all this. If you haven't already seen the videos, and there may be some here in this email, but I'm I'm not even going through them. October 30th and 31st are very high watch days. And I have thought months back, when someone first suggested Halloween, how perfect for God to snatch the babies and the little children out of of the hands of the Satan worshippers fixing to plunge a knife into their heart. Because that's what happens on Halloween. That's what goes on. It's his favorite holiday. And it'll go on for 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd. It turns out that from October 31st to November 7th, it's an eight day feast. Is the true tabernacles and you know what I knew it I knew it but I just could not make myself research and do anything more than I was doing because the Enoch calendar is more accurate I know it in my heart than what the modern day Jewish people are using over in Israel they've already celebrated tabernacles and I knew it was too early Jesus was born during Tabernacles, which means October 31st this year is the first day. On the eighth day is when he would have been circumcised during that feast. Isn't that something? If that is the truth, that's what I believe. Because of the word that says, and he came and dwelt among us, and that means tabernacled. That it could just... They laid him in a manger. When they made those Sukkots or tabernacles, they always put a manger in there. I'm sure it wasn't filthy. They probably had them made specially for their tabernacle celebration. 
and they laid their bread in there and their victuals, their food that they were going to eat during that week because they slept outside in those tents, tabernacles. And I thought, well, Jesus is the bread of life. How perfect is it to lay the bread of life in a tabernacle, uh, what did I just call it? Manger. So anyway, I'm just telling you, it's a high watch week. Okay, coming up. And I'm sure you can type in, uh, there's a video about November 5th, how so many predictive programming shows were Include November 5th, time travel, sh time travel movies. And um, we're going outside of time. It'll basically be like time traveling. Okay, well, I need to get off of here and um, get a note off to my cardiologist. I just wanted to say that please be in extra prayer fasting for those you love that you know are not going in the first rapture okay but let us try to concentrate on what we're going to get to do for the Lord and how we'll get to come back and talk to those we love that won't listen it's going to be glorious it's the great and terrible day of the Lord because it will be terrible for people who do not listen or I don't know just the world in general so I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over myself and my heart and over each and every single one of you and whatever bothers you right now I pray for you that God will keep his hand upon you and help you hang in there until we're out of here. I plead the blood of Jesus over our devices so you can stay connected. I'm, I'll try to read comments to this video, okay? And, um, and answer them. I can do that much. And, um, I plead the blood of Jesus over our internet connections. I don't think that once the first rapture happens, there'll be the three days of darkness, and there'll be no more. There'll be no internet. There'll be no phones. So you contact the loved ones you want to contact now, just to tell them you love them, whatever you want to say, and whatever the Lord leads you. Okay. And know in your heart that God has this. If they're your family, you're praying for them. You'll come back to them and tell them. And they'll see you in your glorified body. Okay? Alright, with that I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you later. And I hope it's in person. Okay. Or in the comments. Alright, bye for now you all. Later.